Carrier basketball is moving at full speed with BU playing two tough home games to start the season. Yeah, we, we take uh, a lot of pride in, in scheduling up. We think we do a nice job of that this year in particular. Um, you know, having these first three games at home is really a luxury for us because we just have a lot of time on the road in our non-conference. And um, you know, we have no easy opponents over them. For the first time in Greenberg's tenure, the Terriers begin their season with three straight home games. BU opened its season with a 52-46 victory over crosstown rival Boston College, with veteran guards Mo Moran and Chantel Alford scoring double digits to give the Terriers the win. We're all very hungry to play, you know, but we have a great team and there's great seniors and juniors ahead of us, so we're just happy to be here and happy to, you know, work hard every day and get better. And the first half of Monday's game was a back and forth battle against number 14 ranked Mountaineers. With a minute left to go, the Terriers tied the game up until West Virginia's Ayanna Dunning was fouled and sank two shots with two seconds remaining on the clock. The Terriers couldn't conjure a comeback. I mean, it was a close one, it was a good one, but we fell short at the end, mm -hmm. but it was good. Coach, she likes to make our non-conference schedule just as tough, um, just to prep us for conference when the time comes. And um, we enjoy the challenges just to come out here and play great basketball, and we were able to do that the first two games, and we just fell short tonight. But, I mean, it's always a challenge, and we're, like, just looking forward to it. With a tough non-conference schedule ahead, the Terriers have a lot of adjustments to make. They're looking to their two veteran guards to lead this young team as they go to four back-to-back -back games away from home. This is Natalie Lessman for Sports Night.